So if you haven't heard already, a few days ago the YouTuber MattPat hosted a charity live stream, and if you can believe it, MattPat was actually being cancelled in the middle of this live stream. This might be a new low for cancel culture where they're cancelling someone as they're raising money for charity. I've never heard of a situation like this, that, that even cancel culture usually isn't this bad. So MattPat did this stream trying to raise one million dollars for St. Jude and there was all these different YouTubers and streamers involved in the live stream. And as this was going on, Matt Pat was trending on Twitter. And he wasn't trending because, you know, people were excited for this charity stream. He was trending because, like I said, during this charity stream, people were trying to cancel him. And it's not even like this is some Shane Dawson stuff where it's actually something worth canceling him for. They were trying to cancel Matt Pat for the dumbest reasons possible. For example, one person on Twitter said, Since MatPat is trending, remember when he exploited a global pandemic for clickbait? And they attached a video where MatPat talks about which game character would be able to survive coronavirus. And that's apparently considered exploiting a global pandemic for clickbait. Because, you know, as we all know, when the pandemic hit in March, no YouTubers made videos about it. That wasn't a thing. There was not a single video on YouTube that involved coronavirus except for this game theory. That is the only one. He needs to be cancelled. How dare he talk about a virus that's affecting the entire world. This has to be the biggest reach I've ever seen. You know, I really don't see the problem with him incorporating the pandemic into a video. All it does is make the video more relevant, and if anything, it educates people about the virus and how dangerous it is. But, you know, apparently MatPat needs to be cancelled. How dare he raise money for charity and inform people about the pandemic. Now, if you can believe it, that's not the end here. Matt Pat was also being canceled for apparently being transphobic. This tweet says, said it before and I'll say it again. BDG is just Matt Pat if Matt Pat, one, wasn't transphobic, two, wasn't homophobic, three, wasn't stubborn, four, was charismatic or funny in any way, shape, or form. And people in the replies obviously asked for proof of of MatPat being transphobic or any of this stuff. And there was actually a clip provided that is, you know, hard evidence that MatPat is transphobic. So go ahead and take a look at this. There were some findings that I think that science will be very interested to explore further. Like the fact that apparently there are over 600 different genders. You know, I've always taken pride knowing that we have a diverse audience watching, but I never in my wildest dreams imagined it was so diverse to include people who self identify as everything from a 1960s era Coca-Cola bottle to a weaponized battle toaster. I've heard that gender is a spectrum and all that, but can someone explain to me whether gay jalapeno is to the left or right of literal piece of human fecal matter? Oh, and uh, by the way, to the 1,610 of you who responded with Apache attack helicopter, thank you so much for raising awareness for the oft-overlooked helisexuals. So, uh, Matt Pat was joking about the answers his audience sent in about genders, where they said they were like weaponized toasters and stuff like that, and now he is officially transphobic because of it. You know, hashtag MattPat is over party. I can't believe MattPat would joke about the answers his audience sent in that were clearly not serious. How dare he? I'm sure those subscribers were completely serious when they said they identified as a weaponized toaster. No, but in all seriousness, it seems like every day Twitter cancel culture gets worse and worse. They reach a new low point. You're out here canceling someone for some of the dumbest reasons I've ever seen in the middle of him doing a stream where he's raising three million dollars for charity. Even if you truly are just delusional and think Matt Pat's a horrible person, you really don't think there's anyone else that, you know, you could put your energy into canceling more than him. Someone that's hosting a charity stream. This whole situation is ridiculous. But with that being said, let me know what you guys thought about this down in the comments. Should MatPat be canceled for joking about his subscribers saying they identify as attack helicopters and stuff like that? I for one was very offended by those statements. And with that being said, that's where I'm going to wrap up this video. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. As always, you can follow me on Twitter at RealXYT. And other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out.